everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make an adorable DIY fall pillow. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel today. Thank you so much for popping in to say hi and to see what kind of DIYs I have up my sleeve today. Sorry I've been MIA lately, I just got this terrible cold from you know where and it's been nasty but now I think I'm finally on the mend. So today I wanna to share with you a really fun fall DIY. And I wanna show you how to make this really adorable little Let's Color Cuddle fall pillow. And I just wanna thank Graphic Stock for sponsoring this video. I was able to use one of their gorgeous images to make this pillow for you. Please don't forget to visit graphicstock.com slash YouTube or click on the link in the description box below to access your free seven day trial to graphicstock.com. I think this pillow is super cute. It says let's cuddle, which I think cuddling is an essential part of any fall living room. Really simple to make. All you need is some fabric transfer, heat to transfer paper. You need an image. This one I got from graphicstock.com and you need a computer and just some fabric. So for this, I just used some white linen, which I think is really fun and simple. And uh, let me show you how to do this DIY. Let's get started. First, cut out two squares of fabric that are the same dimensions as your pillow form. So my pillow form is 18 inches by 18 inches. So I'm cutting out two squares of linen fabric that are 18 inches wide by 18 inches tall. I like to make them a little smaller than the pillow at the end so that the pillow is nice and fluffy inside. Next, head on over to graphicstock.com and download your favorite fall themed artwork. So I just did a quick little search for blue autumn and I found some gorgeous options for my pillow art. And the one that I ended up choosing was kind of a really cute retro floral ring border that had some fall leaves and the teal colors that I love. If you want the same one, this one's called the Autumn Floral Frame Collection and I thought it was super cute. This would look fantastic on its own or I decided to kind of jazz mine up in my photo editing or rather my graphic editing, editing program and add a little bit of a saying inside. So download it and then simply create a new document that is letter sized, so eight and a half inches by 11 inches. Paste that graphic into that document in your image editing program. I'm using Illustrator here. And then adjust the graphic to fill the entire page so that you get as big of an image as possible on your pillow. You can add some text if desired, so I just wanted to add a little let's cuddle in the middle of this ring. I used one of my favorite fonts. I made it as big as I could so that it was nice and big on my pillow. And then once you're finished adjusting your image, you just need to flip that whole thing, mirror it horizontally so that it prints properly on your heat transfer paper. Then grab some printable heat transfer paper. I'll leave a link in the description box below to mine. And then print that graphic on the printable heat transfer, transfer paper in your inkjet printer. Sorry, my printer is so disgustingly dusty. Then once it's all dry, trim the image down with scissors. So I just trimmed mine in a circle so there wasn't any excess heat transfer paper. Mark the center of one of your squares of fabric and place the image right side down in the center of one of the fabric squares. Then you just need to iron it with a nice hot iron so it sticks in place. Once the transfer paper is cool, carefully remove the backing. And I just love how this image turned out. It's so bright and it's so cute. Perfect for fall. Then place your two fabric squares right sides together and pin them in place. And you're just going to sew around the perimeter of the two squares, use a half inch seam allowance and just make sure to leave an opening that's at least 10 inches wide. Once the pillow cover is sewn, just clip the corners off of the seam allowances and then Pull that pillow cover right side out. Just push out those corners so they're nice and crisp. Just 
stuff your pillow form in. So again, I'm using an 18 by 18 inch pillow form here. I'm just showing you with a different pillow that I made because I forgot to film my first pillow. And then finally, you're just going to hand stitch that hole shut just using a needle and thread. And that's it, your gorgeous and adorable fall themed DIY pillow is done. Thanks so much for watching my DIY video today. I hope you found it inspirational and helpful and that you're able to make your own DIY fall pillow. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much again to Graphic Stock for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to click on the link in the description box below to access your free seven day trial to graphicstock.com or head to graphicstock.com slash YouTube. If you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you need to subscribe to my channel for more DIYs please do that thank you so much again for watching and I will see you all next week bye